I got a question from a wonderful gentleman. Uh, he asked, he said he lost his mother uh, in April uh, after four years of dementia. And uh, of course, I start by saying my heart's with you. I am so sorry for your loss and I know how difficult it must have been because to see our loved ones going through this is actually quite uh, difficult for you, but also uh, sort of uh, it, it invokes a lot of reflection on what it, uh, what our brain really is and what dementia really is. And to see that suffering is, is quite difficult. So I, uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. I, um, the, and the question was actually about that was actually was, so, uh, you know, he came across uh, Solve for Happy and my work and was wondering how do we observe our brains uh, when we're in a state like dementia? Uh, so, so the best work I have seen on that topic is actually by my friend Mark Gober, uh, who uh, was a guest on Slow Mo, my podcast. And uh, uh, Mark's work is called "The End of Upside Down Thinking," and and his his um, uh, concept is that we uh, actually are not generating uh, consciousness by our brains, but rather that consciousness is there, it's pervasive, and we receive it. We, in, we, we, we communicate that consciousness to this physical form through our brain. His, his analogy is the idea of, uh, you know, um, if you break the antenna of a radio, that doesn't stop the radio waves from being all around you. That's, the radio waves are still there. It's just that this antenna is no longer able to uh, receive them and 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 that is the analogy for our brains too so that our brains are basically the antenna and that consciousness is pervasive it's outside the physical form it's it's who we really are at our essence he, he calls it whirlpools of of consciousness that there is that universal consciousness of all of us and that we you know are localized states you are one state of that i am another state of that and that uh, you know basically it's always there, communicated to our physical form uh, through that brain. So when uh, this gentleman, gentleman's mother was suffering from dementia, perhaps my view is that her physical form was unable to, uh, to perform the way our you know, uh, um, usual brain, uh, our brain usually performs, but, but at the same time that did not uh, affect her real essence, the, the, the consciousness that she is, the spirit, the soul, uh, the non-physical component, whichever you want to call it, whichever name you want to call it, is unaffected by that because consciousness is pervasive. So I definitely recommend that you uh, um, look at Mark Gober's work and uh, maybe listen to the episode on slow-mo. Uh, his other part of the question was, so uh, my friends, when she died, said that she uh, left us four years ago already. Uh, and that I absolutely believe is not true. Uh, you know, this is a very localized view of how I think, therefore I am, that the only reason I exist is I have a brain and that my brain is functioning properly. Uh, that's definitely not my view at all. My view is that she's always been there. She will always uh, be there. And I hope that you feel her presence and consciousness in your life in many, many forms, even though her physical form is not with us anymore. Thank you so much for your question.